Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I'm handing over the editing and the microphone to Kelly and I'm gonna let her do her video here, so enjoy. I'd like to start off by introducing you to Trina Cardwell. Trina is my friend and mentor, and um, she, this is a few short clips of Trina doing some yard work with some green dogs who she's in the process of breaking out. This is Dose. Dose is a 16-month-old Irish setter, and she comes from my program. I bred Dose. She is a litter mate to my dog, Duck. Um, what you'll notice is Dose is relatively young and pretty far along in this breaking process um, for an Irish setter. And I say that because Irish setters are kind of notorious for being slow matures and putting pressure on these dogs too early in their lives can really hinder their performance and their um, ability to excel. So um, I'm pretty happy with the combination of my breeding program and Trina's training methods she really has done a great job with several of the young dogs that I've produced through the years. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy watching a few clips of Trina working some young dogs. So this is Danny, and Danny is out of Brophy Irish Setters. And Brophy Irish Setters is one of the biggest and most influential long-standing field Irish Setter lines out there. And unfortunately, there are no longer producing dogs. But um, Danny is one of the last litters that Brophy was able to produce. And she is owned by my friend Brian. 
And Danny had a bit of a late start in her training and her breaking out process. So um, that's why you're seeing her being proofed at the age of three. She's um, a little behind, but she's definitely caught up. And um, recently she's had some broke dog placements. So she's definitely compensated for that late start. Oh, that's nice. This is a young female Gordon Setter named Toby. And Trina had her in for training while I was here visiting. And um, you'll kind of watch Toby going through with the proofing process. And Toby's pretty young. She's, she's just under a year old. And um, part of field trials is has to do with um, really poorly flying pen raised birds. You know, they're going to flop around. They're going to put a lot of pressure on. And so we have to prepare these dogs to see poorly flying birds um, or birds that are unable to fly completely um, just flip around in front of the dog. Um, and they have to be able to tolerate that. cooler Whoop.
Thanks for joining me today on my trip to Washington. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as Clayton would always say, please like, subscribe, and share these videos. We enjoy having you guys as viewers. So remember, see you next time. And don't forget to get outdoors and keep running your dogs. See you later.